Oh, hello, big guy. How are you doing? Almost managed to break its magic bonds. A few days more, and it would have wreaked havoc all around. Hello everyone, it is the Unmighty Jeff and this is episode 90 of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Last time I began by finishing the Unmighty Quest Never Trust Children, I intentionally walked into an ambush set up in Skellige. When I completed the quest hidden messages of the Nilfgaardian kind, we followed a trail of notes left around Novigrad, leading us to a small fortune. We took on an innkeeper at a game of Gwent, and finally picked up an annual contract we accepted a while ago, involving us following some mysterious tracks outside Lindenvale, which in the end led to a howler. Let's watch a guard about the ghouls in byways. So where we are is we are in Oriton. Um, which is, I think, where we just uh, spoke to the guard towards the end there. Uh, just because uh, if we fast travel straight into byways, I think it's just going to put us straight into combat. Because I do very vaguely remember byways, and I think I remember it just being covered in ghouls. I think that's how we discovered it, because it was after we did the... Um, uh, the quest with Kira, wasn't it? We did the magic lantern quest. We ended up coming across this village and then get absolutely battered. Okay. I imagine there's probably going to be a bit more to this than uh, just killing the ghouls, probably find out where they came from. Okay, go. Well. Anyone there? You can come out. It's safe now. What are they? be uh, kept fed, because I mean, it's been about like, probably months in game. Ah, a witcher. What happened? Nilf guardians came plundering, looking for valuables, as if we was rich. Who killed them? Couldn't have been you. Uh, I don't know. Must have been those beasts you slaughtered. This would be the first time ghouls came to help out a village in trouble. At this rate, they'll be taking jobs off the notice boards before long. That's how it was. Wait well on it. <sighs> You're hiding something. Gonna find out what it is. There's not here. Black ones didn't even find anything. Out of my way. Hmm. Okay, well, uh, let me finish. Get my stuff. Handiwork of ghouls. Hmm. Well, this is very interesting indeed. Find out what happened here. Out of the way, peasants. What are you hiding? Speed to you. Hmm. Oh, I hope. What's all this thing? Wasn't a fair fight. Didn't stand a chance. Poor doggo. Jaws strong enough to crush armor. Hmm. Great force, internal hemorrhaging, scent of blood still strong. Ought to follow it. Hmm. Okay, dokey. Uh, oh, let's go out this way. There's nothing there. Tracks lead to this house. What happened here? What do you mean? What happened? Last chance. What happened to the Nilf Guardians? What's behind that door? What do I know? Listen, you. If you don't tell me everything you know, you could all die. Understand? Is that a burden you can live with? There's tunnels beneath the village. Tunnels? Elven ruins. We scavenge them for trinkets, small treasures, sell them to Novigrad merchants. 
No one expected anything bad to come of it. We dug through some rubble, found a chamber. The beast slept inside. We felled the prop so the ceiling had collapsed. Didn't bury the monster, though. What did the monster look like? It were dark down below. Couldn't see. So how'd it kill the North Guardians? I ran. Couldn't watch it happen. Give me the key to the door. You'd go in. No. Wanna pour wax through its head, tell you your fortune. Now give me the key. So, correct me if I'm wrong. You dug through to the monster's lair, then buried the entrance, but the Nuff Guardians opened it again to look for treasure. Beast killed the Black Ones and returned to its lair. You wanted to bury the corpses, but their stench lured ghouls to the village. Now I'm here. Sound about right? Tis as you say. Yes. I'm going down there. If I'm gone long, run. Barring the door, nailing it shut resolves nothing. There are other ways out of the tunnels. Gotta be. Okay. I'm sure it'll all be fine. Not a problem. Okay. Oh, uh, hang on. Fur shreds. An Ekimara. Hibernated here till the villagers woke it. Okay. Things can be lifted. That'll do it. And then down we go. Oh. Armor pierced. Arteries torn open. Nice. Hmm. Potion. Just see how we go. Might be okay, actually. Uh, that was a ladder. That's good. But yeah, it's not exactly a, a, a big fall. Get on with it. Alright. See if there's anything else worth uh, taking down here. Anything they might have missed on the exploration of the Elven Ruins. Just a lot of mushrooms, really. Oh, I'm good. Bits down there. Alright, pretty good. Wasn't too big a deal. Got it done. centuries. An Ekimara? Vampire. Won't trouble you again. You cut off its head. Drive a stake through its heart. Did what I had to. Don't go down into those tunnels anymore. 
Ekamara aren't known to be loners. We didn't hire you. Still, seems you deserve a... You bet I do. Pay up. <laughs> Didn't want to finish his sentence. Farewell. Just like, yeah, you will pay me. Fearless Vampire Slayer. Okay. Uh, right then, let's head back to Orton. Is it Orton? It is Orton. Yup. Let's get that finished. We're getting a double payday here. The skis are going to be paying up as well. Though I don't need to uh, tell him that, of course. What brings you here? Hear about the missing patrol. Been to byways. A vampire was terrorizing the village. This is why they did not return. Ekimari are tough, even for a group of soldiers. We will bury them with honors, as heroes. Your reward, well deserved. Double payday. You gotta love it. Alright. Uh, ooh, that's a nice bit of uh, XP there. Still not enough to do anything, of course, but... It's not taking me anywhere. Alright, let's have a look at our quest log. Uh, so, I hope we're doing on this now. So we've got a... 24 and 225s. Door slung shilla. Doors that slung shut. Drop to the haunted mansion. Okay. Why the hell not? What's up uh, near Navigram as well? That'll do. We'll get this done. We've got the time for it. Of course, I do want to. Um, at some point, we are going to be doing the deadly plot thing as well. Well, we might do it at next episode, just depends how long it takes us. We just basically want to try and clear things up as much as we can do in Novigrad before we um before we move on to Skelliger. We're gonna uh, keep up with Gwent as well though. Make sure we don't fall behind there. Still got a few people to uh, to beat. The Wall Darby residence. So this is the haunted house. Hmm. Hello. Anybody? Whole building shaking. But a spectre would have attacked me already. <laughs> I thought that might be a glitch for a second. The inhabitant clearly left in a hurry. Yeah. Whoever lived here seems to certainly live right of it. Oh, some new books there. Um, okay, let's have a look at those. Polymorphy. To change shape, to change one's matter as clay, this is no novice's trick. No flickering glow light or red killing blue bolt. Only those with bowels soaked in oceans of magic arcana, and few are born with bowels so absorbent, can hope to master it. There are exceptions, of course. Dragons, as is well known, possess such a talent innately. With no need for study, they can, guided by some otherworldly intuition, change between humanoid and reptilian form. As for the other races, higher vampires, e.g. Bruxae, and on to flicker between states, yet given the understandable difficulties of conducting research in this area, we do not know if this transition consists constitutes an as constitutes an act of polymorphy. The human race is obviously much more accessible to scholars of polymorphy. The years of study have borne fruit in the form of a set of methods and guidelines for the identification, nurture, and deployment of this talent. The most accomplished result of the careful application of these methods, Philippa Eilhart. Mm. Journal from the Moldave residence. What a lovely home. I cannot believe we were able to buy it so cheaply. Valeria always had a keen mind for business. She haggled so fierce that the broker dropped his price by a third. Incredible. Valeria says the room layout is exceptionally well conceived. Tomorrow we'll move all our things in. It'll be good to have our own place. Finally some peace and quiet. Once we have arranged all the furniture, Valeria decided we needed to paint the walls yellow. Perhaps this is for the best. It'll make it more cosy. 
Valeria's mother visited us. Tomorrow I shall paint the walls green. Valeria heard some noises during the night. She woke me several times, but I did not hear a thing. This night I heard them. The walls shook. Valeria has learned from the neighbours that previously a powerful mage resided in this home. They all say he would summon demons and his spirit still haunts his rooms. People believe the most outlandish nonsense. Valeria has decided to move back in with her mother for some time until I do something about the walls. I joke that perhaps I could simply repaint them, but I don't think she'll find that amusing. I don't think she found that amusing. The has begun to fall off. It seems to me that I heard a noise last night, something like a muffled roar. Valeria has returned. She found a buyer for the home, avoided any suspicion by claiming better to be the mage's widow, selling off the estate after her husband's unfortunate death at the stake. Fool Count must think he has found himself an incredible bargain. Okay. So, it's an isolated incident. Is that? Oh, it's a. I thought there was like a mark in the walls and then like scratchings. It's just the bloody tree on the other side of it glitching through. Scattered salt. Probably to drive ghosts away. <laughs> Pointless superstition. Hmm. Okay, I think we're done up here, aren't we? Okie dokie. What's going on down here then? Oh. Getting aggressive. I thought I saw something. Air flowing through this crack. There's something in there. Hmm. We'll just uh, have a look through here first, if you don't mind. Okie dokie. Wall seems a little thin. Okay. Um. I thought we glitched. Right. What have we got in here? Oh, hello. Here in a while. Oh, careful, girl. Don't, don't go down there. Oh, actually, I don't think it will really matter too much, but... Be examined, please? Not the root of any ordinary plant. It must be magic. It's a oh, kind of magic. Like Okay, I'm a Varric of Serrano's journal. When dealing with beings of this nature, it is most vital to achieve equilibrium between giving free rein to its will and obstructing it with the fetters of servitude. The sagacious elementalist who has tamed a magic minion should not heed the sweet yet pernicious, pernicious urge to unbind the being, for only harm will come of it. Wailing and gnashing of teeth will be the only result. Likewise, he who tightens his servant's yoke over much will gain nothing from it, but his enchanted being will be to him dumb and dull as a lump of earth. The key is to prepare a proper magic barrier, one whose effectiveness shall be backed by a crystal of power. This crystal is of utmost importance. If it should break, the barrier shall fall. Fail. Yet worry not over much, for neither axe nor blade can harm it. A barrier thus secured shall serve as the minion's prison without unduly hindering its power. The ability to write it properly, however, demands a high level of proficiency the kind no mere superficial study or practice can provide. The bunglers and nerder wells of our profession need not apply. Right. Soon suitably, pomp suitably pompous. Must have Ducas make a clean copy of this first draft. Prepare it for publication. Wonder where that clod is. I sent him out for cheese and ink ages ago. An earth elemental. Pretty powerful too. Got that looks very rocky. Hmm. Okay, so maybe we do need to go down here. Well, nope. so we're going down there anyway. Um. So that is anything on this side? Oh, there's something over there. I see you. Right. Is this? Let me get back up there. That's, that's a good question, isn't it? Oh yeah, we're just this way. All right, no mad. No me. Oh hello, big guy. How are you doing? Almost managed to break its magic bonds. A few days more, and it would have wreaked havoc all around. All right. It's like I'm gonna be dealing with you then. Oh boy. 
don't know how much damage fire's going to do to this. I don't know if I look in like my uh, compendium, I could uh, see the best way of dealing with it. But okay, it did some damage, but not a lot. when I tell you to. Half that fight with absolutely no health whatsoever. Hey. My word. <laughs> now, I did not think that was gonna that was gonna work at all, hard, but we did it. That's all that matters. We're nice and healed. Go get this thing uh, suited and booted. No more elementals. And thankfully, we can just uh, zip right to him, I think. Can we? Yep, in Hyrax Square. So we'll do this, and then I think we'll. Um, go take on our next Gwent opponent and then if we still have time after that we'll go and um, speak to Siggy. I think that would be a good idea. Or is it Roach that we need to speak to? I can't remember. Doesn't really matter either way. Ah yeah, this is the guy that we spoke to when um, I was trying to go and talk to Priscilla and then I was like, hey this gentleman. You've got a name. I wonder if you can be interacted with him. There's a like, guy. Ah, yes, you can. Yes. How shouldn't give you any more trouble? A little renovation, and it should be fit for you to move into. Truly? Why the estate's price just spiked sharply? What precisely was the problem? Earth elemental trapped in the cellar. It was just trying to get out. Almost demolished the house in the effort. <laughs> Far more interesting than a ghost. That's certain. The cellar you mentioned, is it an estate to be furnished? Hard to say. Oh, I should see. Ah, your bounty. There you are. And uh, farewell. Alright, ashes to ashes. We're well, getting a few achievements today. Can't complain. Oh, another 300 XP. Another 300 coins. Me likey. So not level up, but there you go. Alright, I'm gonna go to I like to square. Hopefully there should be, I think an alchemist is who we're looking for. Is the only person we can play Gwent, Gwent with north of the bridge. So Oh hang on. Oh. Do you wish the eternal fire's blessing upon you and your household? Come, true believer. May its light shine. Watch it or you'll see the shine of my sword. And back off. That incense is making me nauseous. You yeah, might have said so right away. Countersign and fish soup gives the deacon's auntie a headache. What do you need? Before you ask, I'm all out of hemorrhoid cream. <sighs> what are you talking about? Your incense that bad for the brain? What do you mean? You gave the password signaling you wish to buy some herbs. You're about as much a priest of the eternal fire as I am a vestal virgin. What sort of conspiracy is this? Conspiracy? Dare. 
Folk see conspiracies everywhere. I sell harmless things. Yet in turbulent times like these... Think it's safer to don priest's robes? See, thing is, in this town, impersonating a priest is likely grounds for punishment. Cruel and unusual, I'd wager. I impersonate no one. I am a priest. Though I am also an alchemist. Sadly, it's become difficult to reconcile the two. Uh, will you report me? Or shall we make a deal? Trying to bribe me? Save your coin. I'm not fond of priests. In fact, you'd have to pay me to talk to them. Then I shall sell you my wares for less. Cast your eyes. See if there's aught you could use. Provided, of course, you do not seek hemorrhoid cream. <sighs> Show me what you have in stock. Uh, I mean, you don't look like you have many herbs, to be honest. It's a Freya. Okay. Um... Okay, we'll look at that in a moment. Let's play cards. Gwent wouldn't be bad. Okay, let's have a look see. So, no one really. for. Northern Realms. Okay, um. I don't need both of these geezers, do we? So I can stop one of them. Um, and Bet he's got a decoy card. Oh, no, no, never mind. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay. That'll do. Let's see what we do here. Letho! My boy. Mm. Actually, I, I realise I probably should have just taken out the other one because I don't even have anyone for that row. But that's fine. No need to worry about it. Happy now? Did you like what you saw? I mean, I win. <laughs> Easy. Okay, what do I get? So I get crowns and a gargoyle. I see. You again. I've changed the code word, but you're still entitled to a hefty discount. Take care. Okay, let's have a look at that book that we picked up because it seemed important. Right, no. But right, before I forget, let's just take the trophy off. Um, right, okay. The Cult of Freya. Freya Modron, the Great Mother, teaches us to put our faith in her no matter what life brings. Thus, warriors pray to her before setting off a battle, and the woman. They leave behind prayer for their menfolk's safe return. Freya, as a mother and a goddess, understands all the trials of mankind. She soothes our pains and provides comfort. Yet woe to him who acts against her and violates her eternal laws. Handed down for the good of men and the world. Condemnation awaits such men that they will be cut off from the life-giving source of motherly love. And if they repair not their ways and renouncing evil, return to the mother goddess's bosom, they shall be cursed for all eternity. 
they and all their line. Mm. Seems like a nice lady. Okay, um, let's meet with uh, Dijkstra. Right across the bridge, this is just laziness really, but what can you do? Uh, in fact, actually, I just realised that we're at, uh, we're at 30 minutes. And this is probably going to spark off a lot of uh, a lot of stuff, so probably best not for today. We'll get that done next time. All right. So in Elementor, we have Earth Elementals. Is that the first one we encountered, really? Okay. And uh, Terrazane. New vampires. Uh, Catacans. Oh no, it's not. It was a um, Serasti, wasn't it? Uh, nothing new there. Books are very red. So we'll just skip through that. Crafting, alchemy, blah, 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 blah. World map. We have actually had a new place, haven't we? We went to the Moldave residence. Or Moldavi residence, however you pronounce it. I think that was it. The other place we've already been to, haven't we? Quests. Uh, we have completed two contracts today. We have done contract door slamming shut. And the contract, the mystery of the byways murders. Character, no level up today, although we have made um, a nice uh, advancement towards level 21, so it's not too shabby. I believe I ate something terribly disagreeable. <laughs> and let's save the game there. Alright, that is going to end it for today. Great episode, we've got another two contracts over and done with. And another bit of Gwent done too, so overall pretty productive episode. Next time we will be working through a deadly plot, I don't know how long it's going to take. It feels like a quite significant quest, so it might take up the whole episode. Might even expand into another episode after that. Doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Get that done. Of course, continue working with Gwent. But we really need to start um, clearing up like sort of side locations. You know, like bandit camps and hidden treasure and everything like that, because we've barely done anything in... Uh, the Novigrad area to be honest so that definitely needs doing I just keep getting sidetracked because I have so many quests to do um, so yeah if we do have any spare time we will do a bit of that next episode I think but if not it's not the end of the world before I wrap up let me take a second thank my amazing patrons my five pound patrons are Ever the Snake and Ron Hyla you can find links to their channels as well as my other three pound patrons in the description down below and also give secrets to my one pound patrons thank you so much everyone it's truly appreciated and it goes a long way to top of the channel so I do thank you a lot for that and if you should become a patron you can find a link in the description down below we don't have to do that because at the end of the day if you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one bye guys Everything